guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, look where we're at. SSR Performance. We're gonna be doing some modifications to the vehicle today. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what, but I'm really excited about it. Since the day that I've got the car, this is one of the first things I wanted to do, and uh, we're here. So it's happening, let's get in there, let's say what up, and then we'll let the professionals take over. Got wheels coming, coils, okay. wrap, obviously. That'd be really cool, man. You'd be one of the first few to do that. Yeah. That's that would definitely break for. the internet, that's for sure. I hope, dude. That's for sure. Tell me about your shop. We do a lot of performance when it comes to turbos, downpipes, exhaust, intake, you know, suspension. We do, you know, we do wheels here and there, but mostly on the performance side of things. Right. Uh, tuning, we do tuning for these okay. cars. We actually have a tune available for the Supra now. We have, Sweet. we're one of the first companies to have downpipes available for the Supra, which obviously is why you're here today, yep. so. So um, now they know. I haven't told them what we're here for. We're getting a downpipe installed. Oh, is it a surprise? It's Did not I a surprise. surprise. <laughs> I wanted you guys to talk about it. So, okay, you cool. know, there it is. The downpipe's going on the car. Yeah. I think it's one of those mandatory first things you want to do. You know, this car comes out of the box. It sounds so good, but now it's like, how can we amplify it a tad bit? Right, right, right. And uh, I think the downpipe's going to do it. So this is our Catless SSR Performance Performance Downpipe here, competition downpipe, versus what a stock Super Downpipe looks like. And as you guys can see, that's a huge restriction. We replaced it with this, which, which yeah, this is the new one. As you guys can see, not much of a restriction. That's what so. I'm talking about, dude. It's just <laughs> hollow. <laughs> it's just straight hollow. It's a piece so. of metal. Yeah, exactly. It's just, <laughs> it's just some tubing. So, um, so it's gonna go in there, and uh, huge sound difference, huge power difference. Uh, and the car's gonna pop like crazy. You heard Jose's? I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna pop like crazy. We should do it before and after yeah, like, revving absolutely. too, just so people can see what the difference is. Before we get started, I mean, what you guys are gonna wanna see is the before and after. So with this car, there's basically two befores because you have your non-sport mode. Which this car comes equipped with, just runs without the sport mode on, so it's pretty quiet. And then you hit sport mode. And then it starts to get loud and popping. This is all stock. And then moving forward from there, we'll have another clip to overlay and show you what the, the both options sound like with the downpipe on it. Being under the car for the first time, it's crazy. Like I never thought I'd be buying a brand new car and then a couple days later be under it working on it. I'm a rapper, this is what we do. So this is kind of a new thing for me, but it's exciting. It's a learning experience. I'm really excited to be working alongside of these guys because they know exactly what they're looking at. They've been working on the B58 engine for years now. And uh, you know, they get down there, they know exactly what they're looking at. It just helps me, makes me feel comfortable. So shout out to these guys. I'm gonna get under there and see if I can get it done. Yo, so what I'm gonna do today? I got Zane yesterday. Another boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think it's fucked up if I prank the guy that's gonna be helping me out with my car? Oh, not, not at all. No, not at all. Not in the lead. Just watch your head, though. Put it in your back pocket. So I just push the button. No, you got the whole thing in your pocket. Like this. <laughs> this dude got some money, bro. He's got it. He got it down. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do it right, bro. He just walked away. Let's go get him. Hey, hey brother. Can you let him? Can you let us know what's gonna go on in here? What was that? Can you let us. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> We're getting it to you, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Step one was to remove the O2 sensors. Uh, we're working from the top down, so remove them from the top, and that's gonna allow us to drop the downpipe from the bottom. So I thought that was cool because 
you would think that you lift the car, remove the O2 sensors from the uh, downpipe, but we actually did it from the top, so everything's gonna come down at one time. That was a little pro tip from these guys. Got except for SEMA, so we're gonna be moving forward with that. That's uh, sick. Wheels, bags, wrap, everything we can get done in the next, I'd what, say, what uh, RSR wheels. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it's a wheel company. Okay. Uh, at first, I, I didn't know much about them, and yeah. then they sent me a photo of the wheel. It's a fully forged wheel. Super dope. Nice. I gotta give them a plug because oh, the yeah. wheel is hot, dude. It's, oh, it's yeah. developed around this car. Cool. Uh, the only thing I don't know, maybe you can kind of help me out, and they want to go to a 20 inch wheel from a 19 to a 20. Okay. What are your thoughts on it? Um, I think it'll look a lot better and you know, you're just gonna have to test the fitment because gotcha. obviously you're gonna have to make sure it's not rubbing or right. anything. I think it'll be fine though. I think it's there's more than a space. Well a lot more. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I think there's definitely space to do a 20 and I think it'll look way cleaner than 19 inch setup too. I can't wait, dude. You need this car to stand out. I mean, you 100%. say, what are you doing color? Uh, Neon green. It's gonna stand out, so. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. gonna pop, dude. Okay, okay, cool. So It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Congratulations, Thanks, man. Bro. Congrats on your. What are you gonna name her? She's hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you can't be standing on your own Damn, baby. Man. <laughs> you pulled a trump on it, dude. She's hot, bro. <laughs> My hand is on fire. <laughs> now that makes sense, though, to remove the uh, O2 sensors up top. Yeah, yeah. So, did. So I mean, I think. What most people do is uh, what's more intuitive, which is just try to unbolt these right. uh, or unscrew these while the cat's still inside the car. But it's just so much easier. I mean, how, how long did it take us to remove these? Right. 30 seconds, seconds right? Everything taken off. We have the O2 sensors put on the new downpipe. Uh, I got a little education on this thing from them, and from what I understand, it's all fab here in house in yep. the U.S. right yep. here. Yep. And the fitment is just spot on. So from what I what I interpreted, a lot of it's done through CAD software, yep. 3D printed, test fitted, and then created nice. this part. Yep. So um, you know, my initial concern right off the bat is from a DIY perspective because I am helping. With, I am helping with the install. Is is the part going to be bigger? Is it going to be smaller? Are the O2 sensors not going to be in the right place? Am I going to have fitment issues? And from what you told me, that's not going to be the yeah. problem. It seems like everything falls in line exactly where it was. So, your asset performance, like that's like the most important thing, right? Okay. We're an aftermarket parts uh, manufacturer, so we want to make sure that when you get this product to your front door, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Right. You can put it right in the car. You don't have to give us a call. It just works exactly as it should. Sweet. And especially like this DIY that we're doing here today, those are the kind of things that should help our clients get this part installed properly and enjoy the car the way they should be. So, gotcha. yeah. All right, so if you guys haven't caught it yet, I am taking the DIY approach with them. They're doing the install, but I'm walking through it with them and doing my perspective. They're really showing me what to do. If you guys wanna see the full DIY video, it's gonna be on their, on their YouTube channel. So make sure you guys go subscribe to that. I'll have a link above and below. But I think it's super important to go over there so you can get a real thorough idea of what was going on here. They got a whole media, media team here as well. So I'm sure the content's gonna be fire. So make sure you guys go over there and subscribe. If you do, drop a comment. Premium fam, show them some love. Their channel's getting started. So you know you know how important it is for us creators of smaller businesses to get this thing rolling. So I'm really here to wanting to do that because at one point in our YouTube career, we were just the little guys and uh, we still are, but you know, getting the help from the people that we did was so important. So if I can give back and help out in any way, I want to do so. So go to their channel, shoot them a subscribe, or shoot them a follow, subscribe, and drop a comment. So right now what we're doing is we're getting the O2 sensors mounted up top so they're not dangling down so we can reach them once we lower the car from the top side. Uh, there's two OEM placement hangers so we're going to strap up to those and then we should be able to reach them from the top side once we lower the car. And there's, so the downpipe is in. officially in, yep. fully clamped in. We're going to go ahead and get the undertray back on. 
and then the rest of it's gonna be on top. So let's grab the under tray. It was actually harder on than it was off. No, it was backwards, sorry. It was harder off than it was on. So if that makes any sense, it took more time to figure things out. But by the time we got it off, putting the, the new downpipe in place literally took, felt like it took a couple minutes. Moment of truth, we're gonna see how it sounds. I know it's gonna be dope. I know it's gonna be dope. So let's let's turn it on. You can hear the turbo is a lot more now. You hear it, right? Yeah, no, it sounds nuts. So this is this is gonna be the best part of the whole thing, okay? Are you gonna shoot flames on me? No, 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 no. <laughs> we will eventually. We will eventually. Okay, That's no problem. Okay. But for right now, you're about to hear the burbles of the downpipes, man. You're gonna, nice. You're gonna love this, bro. Get closer. Okay, like I just got a new car. You did. <laughs> So overall, I love the sound, it's amazing. It's way louder than it was. I can't wait to go out and take it for a ride, which we're gonna do in like two minutes, and we'll show you guys clips of that. But I want you guys to know where to get this. If you have a super, if you're thinking about getting one, you need to have this, it's the must have part. So tell me awesome. about it. I'm so glad you, you love it. Seriously, Thank like you. reaction is worth, worth everything, <laughs> man. So yeah, SSR Performance Downpipes, guys, they're available on www.ssrperformance.com. You can go get them now, they're online, ready for you to order. Uh, this is just the car with just downpipes, no tune. We didn't touch anything else, just replace the downpipes. It's insane, man. I, I love the way these downpipes came out. You guys definitely need to get on there and order right away. We're definitely gonna be running out pretty soon here. So oh, get online. No brainer. Anybody who has this car is gonna need this. First mod, right? First mod. First mod. First mod, First mod for any Supra owner. Yep. 2020 Supra. Go online, www.ssrperformance.com. Get your order in. We're gonna ship these out to you guys. Free shipping in all the United States. There's, no, there's nothing better out there, guys. There's, There's one thing better. What, what is it? What is that? Let's go for a drive, right, dude. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Oh my god, did you hear that? Let me roll down the window just a little bit so we can hear that. Oh shit. It shakes you up, yeah, right? <laughs> it this is crazy, dude. Dude, you know what's funny? I just drove a Jose Supra yeah. with a stock, right? Yep. It felt nothing <laughs> like this. It felt nothing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It feels like a different car. It felt nothing like this, bro. This is I mean, you're, you're legit like pinning it against the seat. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> This is crazy. I'm gonna hit it right here. Yeah, punch, this... it. Just punch it, punch it, punch it. All right, here we go. Complete stop. We're gonna go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. This is crazy. Oh, gunshots, my God, bro. Dude. Take it right. I'm in love, man. I'm in love. I can't thank you enough, dude. This is no, of course, badass, man. man. Dude, I'm glad you love it. This is all worth it. It's man. crazy how one little part can just totally change your car and make you feel like you have a brand new car again. Absolutely. You know, granted, I bought the car a week ago and, and I got to experience that, but I feel like I'm experiencing it all over again. Money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling.